Hey YouTube, I thought I'd do a video and talk about if you're going to sell on eBay, um, should you specialise in something or are you better off being a generalist and being an opportunist and selling everything and anything? Um, and just give you my take on that and my experience. So. I don't know, it's a hard one. I've done a bit of both. Um, if you've watched all my other videos, you'd have heard that I I specialised in media products, did that for many years, and I branched out a bit, but on the whole, I was just selling CDs, DVDs, and games. And that's when we had a retail outlet as well, and that's what we would advertise for people to sell to us. And that worked really well. And, and the benefits of that are that you build up a huge knowledge of a certain subject. Um, so the benefits are that the benefits of doing media specifically um, to sell online is that they are perfect to send through the post. So all the perfect little envelope size, they go as a large letter, they're cheap to send. Um, and of course they're abundant. Everybody has DVDs and CDs and games. Um, and then I specialised in Lego for quite a while. I was only selling Lego. And the benefit of that is you can concentrate on that one thing and do it really well. And if your eBay shop is just full of Lego and you've got thousands of Lego products available, what you tend to find is then you pick up lots of sales where people go in your shop and go shopping. That they, they, they like to bundle them together and save on the postage. You can offer great discounts on on multiple purchases and that sort of thing and you become a specialist and you become a destination shop for people that are into Lego for example and um, so that works really well we find with with the clothing side of what we do uh, for a while we were just doing clothing and we could see people would come on and in our description it says you know once you bought one item pay no more shipping all the other clothes that you can find we will ship for free with your first item and so you get lots of like add-on purchases and you become like I say a destination shop and people will favourite you and come back to you if they've had good service because they know what they're going to get they know they're going to get clothing it's going to be of good quality and you get repeat custom like that so they're what I would say are the advantages of specialising and it kind of makes it easier in your head in that you know what you're looking for and you're just looking for that and you build up, like I say, a real wealth of specialist knowledge. Um, the, the flip side of that is being a generalist, being somebody who has their fingers in lots and lots of pies, and that's more what I am. And the reason I have ended up, at the moment anyway, working like this, is that I find it gives me a huge advantage when I'm out in the field looking the stock that I am not just looking for Lego I'm not just looking for clothing I'm looking for those for sure but I'm also looking for games for books for vintage toys for tools for household appliances the list goes on and on and on all of these um, Sort of niche areas that I've learned about over the years. It means when I'm when I'm out in any car boot sale, any rummage sale, flea market, auction, wherever it is, charity shop even, I can pretty much guarantee I can walk into anywhere and leave with some stuff I can make good money on, because I am open to buying all sorts. So that's the big 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 advantage of being a generalist um, it means I can buy an awful lot of stock and find it easily and I can when I go to boot sales you see the same guys that have been doing this for years still buying the same one very small niche area I see guys just buying vinyl I see guys just buying CDs still guys who are into their retro games uh, guys that are just buying shoes, guys that are just buying clothes, and they're doing well out of it. But 
I come up to certain stalls and see, you know, matey boy that I see every week rummaging through the, the vinyl. And he goes through two whole crates of vinyl, finds one manky looking LP and buys it. At the same time on that same stall, I picked up a load of sealed old Hi8 videotapes, a couple of board games, um, some Nintendo GameCube games, and, you know, some craft items. For example, I've picked up a little bundle, got a nice deal on it because I bundled it all together and I'll make 30, 40 quid out of that. I think you can restrict yourself and limit how much you can make by being a specialist. The swings and roundabouts, it depends how how you want to do this really. But those are the advantages and the disadvantages of being a specialist against a generalist. At the moment, I would say be a generalist. It's great fun. The, the world is your oyster. You've just got to go out there with an open mind. You can pick up job lots of whatever you like. As long as you can, you've done your research and you know you can turn it over at profit, you can buy and sell whatever you like. I've done some videos recently about job lots I picked up through eBay. I've picked up some great job lots recently outside of eBay as well. And I might do a video showing you some of those. Uh, it's it's great fun and it's it's rewarding and you never know from day to day what you're going to pick up and what you're going to be selling. So yeah, that's it. I just wanted to do a quick video about that. It might you know make you think, give you some ideas. Um, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Watch my other videos. I'm going to keep doing these and keep putting the information out there in the hope that someone gets some benefit from it and it helps somebody to improve what they're doing or gives them the motivation to do this for themselves because I make a full-time living reselling this stuff on eBay day in and day out and I've been doing it for a long time. Uh, I just want to encourage and inspire others to have a go and do it for themselves. So thanks for watching. Like I say, please comment and subscribe. Till next time, thanks for watching.